So guys, we are on Trump Rock, the sacred rock of the Tufkin world. There's the valley right down there. Look at that. Yeah, nice valley. Alright, so we're in Tufka. And uh, I'm going to be showing you the um, Portuguese settlements and like their military bases since they had the the most impressive and largest of any Tufkin nation at their prime. So first off, to start off, they owned Trump Rock at the at their prime. So they pretty much owned um, all this in Tufka um, till about here-ish. You can kind of see about here the the road over here. They owned that. And then they own this way all the way until the Britannian border, way, way, way over there. Um, and then, yeah, it kind of just ended about here, honestly. Up here is about it as well. And then they own all the way down to that Maverick over there, pretty much. So, like, all of this. So, yeah, they had a pretty big empire at their prime. So, I'm going to be showing you the remains of their settlements. Okay, so just a fair warning, I don't actually know the names of like any Portuguese settlement, I just know where they're located. So around this area, there's one right in that tree, you can kind of see a platform in the tree. Um, okay, so like here and here was like the Portuguese base of operations, like their, their capital, you could say. Um, so yeah, and they're, they're mostly like tree houses mostly with like walls around them and like an internal ladder and crap. It was pretty darn cool and defensive, really effective. All right, so anyway, you can see two massive walls here. And um, yeah, that's all that really remains of this part. So this here was their main base right here. So we were just up there and now we are here. So if we get take a closer look, you can see that platform I was talking about. They had a ladder going up through this and then they had walls surrounding this entire thing. So like, it was really, really cool, effective, defensive, all that. As I said, some of the largest and most um, impressive forts in Koka. Alright, and don't worry, they've got more. Here's uh, another destroyed wall. So currently we're in the heartland of the Portuguese um, territory, like when they had their empire, so that's their capital. Like, we are in the heartland of the Portuguese Empire. So, yeah. So, here's one of their few ground level forts they had. So, two massive walls already. Oh, goodness. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, yeah. Like, massive walls just torn apart. This whole thing is... Um, a wreck just ruins so we're in the Portuguese southernmost territory I think they had a minor settlement here I don't think this settlement ever had walls heck there's like hardly anything here like the, there used to be I can't remember quite what they had here but they had something here other than just nothing but yeah I think this was a minor settlement from my knowledge so it didn't have walls. Here's another destroyed wall. So this is the main Portuguese um, highway. When they went to the Maverick over there, they used this highway to transport to transport goods from there back to their settlements and their empire. So we are on the west part of the. Portuguese Empire um, and this was a more of like a buffer zone for the trading route I was talking about from the Maverick to their empire and this in my opinion is argu argu arguably geez, um, the, their most important settlement um, first of all I've actually witnessed a battle occur here before between the Portuguese and the Eastern Barbarians. So what was basically going basically going on and why they built this fort here um, was to fend off 
anyone trying to raid their trading routes. So, because this is an extension of the trading route. It just goes clear out there to the Maverick and then back. So basically, people going to the Maverick, they could stop here, rest or whatever. They go back and then they could hurry here to get some protection. And then they could continue on their way to the rest of the Empire, to the main parts. So this is more of like an outpost, but it's like a really beefed up outpost. You better watch your step. The Portuguese have a, had a nasty habit of, uh, yep, see, leaving rusty nails up, so uh, we better be careful where we step. But yeah, this was a massive fort. Um, this one was a mix of like the treehouse style and like the, gra the ground level. So like they had a few, like you can see here, they had a few platforms up top and they had like massive walls on the ground. And they'd basically harbor the uh, traders, tra yeah, their traders um, here, and then they could continue on their way down the trading route, and then out this way. I think there was actually a way out that way originally, but it's all overgrown. So yeah, that's the settlements of the Portuguese Empire. That's I believe five, five settlements, four of them being walled settlements, and. Wall settlements are rare in Kokob because they're expensive to make, first of all. Second of all, it's even rarer to find a walled settlement in Tufka. I think there's only like two uh, that weren't built by the Portuguese, right? So they built some pretty impressive stuff here in Tufka. And that's why they're considered one of, if not the most powerful Tufka nation to ever exist. So yeah, that'll be all.